Hello viewers, I am Chris. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use copy activity to copy multiple tables from Azure SQL database to Microsoft Fabric Warehouse. This is one of the easiest ways in which we can migrate data from any source to Microsoft Fabric Warehouse or Microsoft Warehouse. Without further ado, let's get started the first thing i need to do here is to create a warehouse i go to microsoft fabric at the left side click on data engineering i click on workspaces click create new workspace i name it i click apply every other thing i leave it as it is under the new workspace I click new to create a pipeline. I click data pipeline. I name my pipeline. I click create. Now I have created my pipeline. This is my pipeline. Let me go to Azure portal. I'm in my Azure portal. And this is the database I want to copy. I go to query editor. Put in my credentials, allow IP. Okay, let me allow it. Now I can now log in. Now, if I click the tables, you can see I have these three tables. This is the schema, this is the table. These three tables, I want to move them to the fabric warehouse. Let me go back to my fabric warehouse to start the journey. So I click on copy data assist assistance. Note here that I can also use pipeline activity. In my subsequent video, I will use the other method, pipeline activity. Choose data source. I choose Azure SQL DB. Now the server name. This is the server name. I put it. The database name. This is the database name. I copy it. Connection name. Username. This is my username. Password. I enter my password. And check this use encrypted connection. I click next. Alright, it has loaded the tables. I click select. Click next choose destination I choose warehouse choose name I click create and connect load to new table yes let me rename this cars underscore tbl this is a column mapping id to id so everything is in order country table let me rename it id to id column mappings yes all right everything is in order so i click movies movies underscore all right i click next enable staging yes it's already ticked by default staging is very important so uh, fabric is doing that for me Staging it for me. Workspace, yes. I click next. I'm good to go now. So, as you can see, this is the copy summary. Start data transfer immediately. I say no. I want to show you how the copy activities will look like. So, I click OK. This is the pipeline environment. This is the forage activity this is the copy activity inside the forage activity if i click on forage this is the name i can rename it if i want under settings this is the item this is the code and what does forage does it will iterate the three tables one after the other it's just like what we have in programming under activities have one activity 
Now, if I click this pencil, it will take me to the copy activity inside the for each activity. All right, this is the copy activity. So if I click on it, this is the, the general overview of a copy activity. This is the name, you can rename it if you want. Now, there are two important things here under copy activity, the source and the destination or what we call sync. This is how the source looks like. This is the destination. This is the place you are taking it to. The mapping is done by the copy activity. Now the settings, enable staging, yes. So as you can see, everything is in order. The next thing now is to run this activity. I click save. As you can see, it's, it's saved now. I click validate. No error found, it has been validated. I click close. Now is the time to run the pipeline. I click run. Pipeline run. So this is the parameter. So I click OK. So it's running. The first one is the for each activity. As you can see, everything is in progress. The for each activity and the copy activity, they're all successful. Our data has been copied to the warehouse we specified. Now let me go to the warehouse to check the tables. If I click here, location, yes, pipeline, works fix. I can also access it from here. This is the semantic model endpoint. Let me click on this. Fantastic. So these are our tables, the three tables. You can run the query here, depending on what you want to report. All right, let me go ahead to create the model, the relationship. I click on model. As you can see, the relationship has now been created. So let me create the relationship. These are the three tables. Let me create relationship. I drag this ID to this. Many to one relationships. Cross feature relationship. Let me select both. I click save. The relationship has been created. I can also do the same here. Click on ID. Change this to both. Click save. All right, fantastic. I've created the relationship. So let me go ahead and create the report. I click new report. I click continue. These are the tables. I assume that our tables are transformed. We have to go ahead and create our visuals. This is not the main thing. Uh, the main objective of this video is to show you people how to copy multiple tables from Azure SQL database to warehouse. So you can go ahead and create a fantastic dashboard and do your reporting. So if I come over to the car, click the name to so this. Come over to countries, click the name to so this. Yes, has this. This is how you will now create your reporting by putting the information you want. That's it for this video. If this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you can be duly notified whenever more videos are released. And don't forget to share this video. To your loved ones for other people to also benefit thank you for watching see you in my next video